Hey, what's up everyone? Hope everyone is doing well. I finally figured out how to record the computer screen without the damn GoPro. I searched out uh, screen capturing software. I'm using a trial version of Flashback Express. It works alright, it's not bad. All links will be provided in the description below. Second, thank you ever so much to all who have commented and subbed. Just saw that I'm up to 300. Way to work, guys. Hopefully we can keep this going and growing and... I'm enjoying what I'm doing. It's, it's a fun little hobby, although sometimes it's a little difficult, but I'm still enjoying it. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to install the PKGJ in no NPDRM. The PKGJ is such a tongue twister. Good God. Um, if, you, if you're wondering what PKGJ plugin and or app, if you'd like to call it, does, the way it works is PKGJ allows to install original PKG files on your Vita. Uh, the features that come with the PKGJ are easy way to see list of available downloads including searching, filter, and sorting. Uh, standalone, no PC required, which is wicked rad. Um, everything happens directly on the Vita. Automatic download and unpacking. Just choose an item and it will be installed, including bubble and live area. That's where all your other um, icons are. I like to call them icons. Uh, resumes interrupted downloading. Uh, you can stop download at any time, switch applications if you need to, and come back to download from place um, where it stopped. Uh, this homebrew allows you to download and unpack PKG files directly on Vita together with your no NPDRM fake license. Um, the PKG J uses the same database as No Pay Station. That's kind of a cool name, actually. No Pay Station. NPDRM. Um, the features for that it actually um, exports PS Vita content license keys as fake licenses, bypasses expiration of PlayStation Plus and other timed licenses, allows you to run trial versions as full versions, which is interesting. Allows sharing. PFS encrypted content, unmodified, non-decrypted games across multiple PS Vita accounts and devices using generated fake license files. Imported games behave as purchased games and allows uh, the use of game updates seamlessly downloaded from the Sony Interactive Entertainment Network, which is the PlayStation Network in general. Um, as long as these updates run on firmware 3.68 and lower, uh, games can also be stripped of their PFS encrypted using tools such as Vitamin, just as any other purchased games would. Using purchased applications or uh, excuse me, using purchased applications on deactivated devices. In a nutshell, this plugin allows you to bypass DRM protection on any PS Vita content, which is tit. I'm going to be like in this modded system. Um, unfortunately, the software will not allow modifications to your games slash applications work with pfs decrypted contents and sh such as games dumped using applications such as vitamin or may dump tool mai dump tool enable you to run applications use content without a valid license or a fake license file work with playstation portable or playstation one titles um, should you wish to play such titles, you may want to look into the Adrenaline software. And that's what the no NPDRM does for you. Alright, switching over, let's get this thing going. I'm going to show you where to download the new updated file, it's 0 0.55. Download the first link, the VPK. Once that's downloaded, you open up your download folder. And you'll see where the uh, file is located. I don't know where um, everybody else's files go when they're downloaded, but mine's there labeled download. Um, once that's done, you want to go over to your Vita, boot the Vita up, and uh, create an FTP between the Vita and your computer. All right. Now, over here at the Vita, you boot up Vita Shell and you hit. I believe it's select. I'm pretty sure it's select. Um, your message will pop up stating um, the FTP numbers. Um, after this shows the little box, um, you want to type in the FTP numbers into um, 
whatever opened folder you have. Um, my folder is the downloads right now, but uh, I already used this FTP um, IP address once already, so the number is going to uh, going to be um, listed right above. So all you do is just type in FTP, and the drop box will appear, and um, just click on it, and it'll automatically port over to the PS Vita's P uh, FTP um, server. So from here, you want to find UXO or UX0. Um, I actually opened up another folder, the file manager, to make it easier. Um, so I'm just dragging the VPK file into the VPK folder, which is on the PS Vita. As you can tell um, right there, I have the three files. Um, I think I could just delete the old VPKs that I've, I've already installed, but for now, they're in there. So back over to the Vita, um, you see the FTP is still up. Um, it says to cancel it with the O. I did actually switch the X and the O this time around. Um, the X was to cancel and the O was to uh, accept. So I switched them around earlier um, this afternoon. So once you're on the Vita, you go to Vita Shell again, and then you go to the UXO folder. So you scroll down to where you see the VPK folder. Now, the file should be in there for the package, the pkgj.vpk. If it's in there, you did it correctly, you click on it, you install it, um, you go through a few windows, um, and after that, um, you just back out of the, v the Vita shell. Now, once you back out, um, you'll see the new bubble, or icon I like to call it, the pkgj is installed and ready to be used. Now we're going to install the no npdrm file right now. So we headed back over, or I should say I headed back over to my laptop computer that I edit my videos and stuff like that and voiceovers and stuff like that on. Now once we're over here, we load up the website, Google Chrome or whatever you want to use. You go to the auto plugin, um, GitHub, you download the very first file which is the VPK, just like every other file out there. And um, it only should take a few seconds, it's something like that, or a minute, depending on your connection. After you download it, you open up your download folder, or go find it, or wherever you keep your files. Um, like I said earlier, I keep mine all in download, just to make things easier and stuff like that anyway, and less cluttered on the desktop. As you can tell, I like a clean desktop. So your file is in the download. Now you want to go back over to your PS Vita. Uh, right from here, you want to hit Vita Shell, and you want to open it up. Once this loads, hit Select, and the FTP numbers will pop up. Remember those numbers or write them down. Go to your computer, which is which is my laptop. Um, I find this to be a lot easier if you open up two file explorers or folders or whatever you want to call them, file managers, and put them side by side. But on the right hand side, uh, what I'm doing is entering in the FTP IP address and going to the UXO folder, scrolling down to where the FPK folder is, and on the left hand side is my download folder. I'm just dragging and dropping the file to the FPK. The VPK folder on the Vita server. Now back over to the Vita itself. You want to close out of the box. What you want to do is go down to the UXO or UX0 folder. Scroll all the way down to the VPK folder. Now you'll see audio, not audio, but auto plugin 2. What you want to do from here is hit the X, hit yes, then hit yes again. So you can install the application and give it a few seconds. It takes like 20 to 30 seconds and the install will be done. It's a little bit of a bigger file than um, some of the, the other two um, files I installed previously. So it's almost done. Once that's complete, what you want to do is you want to back out, 
You want to hit start. You want to reboot. Always reboot. Always reboot after you install um, plugins or applications. Just to be on the safe side. Who knows if you install something and you try to use it right then and there and it's not going to work. Most likely it needs to be rebooted, the system. So once you reboot the system, there you go. Audio, auto plugin 2 is installed. I don't know why you say audio plugin. Maybe there is a music plugin that I don't know about. But at any rate, auto plugin 2 is installed. Just tapped on the bubble. I'm just running through some odds and ends over here. I don't really know too much about some of these anyway. I'll have to look into them later on. But it would be nice to have a um, battery that tells you about the percentage because the one that came with the Vita itself, it sucks. I mean, you don't know if you're at 75% or maybe 64%. You don't know. It's just the icon of a battery with green goo inside of it. Every other percentage anyway. It's a lot easier for me at least, you know. So I'm just checking on updates, see if there's any updates or anything like that to Enzo or Kaku, but there isn't. Now these are all the homebrew applications you can install, or you want to call them plugins, it's up to you. But um, I'm going to scroll down to where it's going to read no NPDRM. Now, I got the official flow one, because I hear that's the best. I'm not really too sure what the, what the L-Man version is, the un unofficial. I don't know if that's even better or what they, or he or she did, but I installed the uh, the official flow one instead. So after that, what you want to do after you un uh, install the uh, application and plugin, I installed it twice because I didn't see it the first time that it said installed. Now I just checked for an update for the no NPDRM, but there's no updates for it, so that's good. So I exit out of this, and... I take you to the PKGJ application and I'm just running through everything that they got right now for Vita games from Japan to Europe to USA. There's a buttload. I was going to run through everyone but it would have been too much. I would have to like put like the fast speed fast motion thing up on to like a thousand to just get just to get all of them in. So, this is one of the reasons why I got a PS Vita 3.60 so I could play Duke Nukem. Unfortunately, um, I found out too late that it came to the Vita, but you can't buy it anymore off the PlayStation Store. So that's why I modified the Vita so I could play this. I've been a big fan of Duke Nukem 3D since the PC days, and Duke Nukem Forever Blue. I hope they have a PS5 version of Duke Nukem, but we'll see. So right now I'm just showing you guys that it's actually working. It's downloading the game. It takes a little while depending on what kind of uh, connection you have and how close you are to the router. But it's almost done. You got like six seconds left anyway. But I just want to show you guys that it's actually working after we did all this work with the files and the installing and whatnot. So as you can see, it's installing. And there you go, guys. Duke Nukem 3D. I cannot wait to get into that game. This should be a movie. Howie Long, who used to be a football player, could have played Duke Nukem back in the day. I even think John Cena would be a rad Duke Nukem, but I think he would be a better Wolfenstein um, character there, the, the main one. I can't even remember the guy's name right now. It eludes me. I was going to say Snake Blitzkin, but that's Kurt Russell. That's totally different. Plus, I'm tired. So, I'm going to go try this Duke Nukem to show you guys that it actually worked. So, please enjoy. Thank you. Thank you for the subs, even though it might be bots, mostly. But um, I do appreciate it. It's been real, and please stay safe, and you know, just, just, just be good, I guess. All right, guys. You have fun. Take care. And this is Duke Nukem 3D.
and the Vardis, we promise to do our part. As always, we're doing everything we can to help keep the center successful and